It's your favorite day, it's Mock Monday. The set was provided by LESDIY for review. All opinions expressed here are my own. Hi, I am Krzysztof Kwiatkowski, uh, the voice of this video and the author of the mock that you will see here today, uh, Vegas Battlebot Combat Robot Horizontal Spinner. As mentioned in the disclaimer, uh, the reviewer got the set provided by Les DIY. This company collects all the parts of the mock for you, so that you don't have to order uh, them from multiple shops. You will uh, get a mix of uh, Zigao and Go bricks, while the motors are provided by Mold King. The price of 90 is absolutely awesome, considering that you have 4 motors and a battery box that is rechargeable via the USB cable that is included. If you were to buy um, the LEGO parts for this model, you would need approximately 300 euros. If you use the coupon code CLEMBO20, you will even get 20% off your order. You can use the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Now it's time to open the box and explore what's inside. As you can see, there is no space left in the box, it's full of bricks. You get the parts sorted by type, uh, just as you would get when ordering from Bricklink and you don't have any building sections. This mock contains 563 pieces, including 4 motors to uh, control uh, that absolute monster. It does not contain printed instructions, uh, but you get a QR code to download the instructions in PDF. In my set, I could really see that the parts are coming from two brands, as I had two Technic beams that are looking different. The part quality in general is okay, however you need much more pressure when you uh, assemble. This could be frustrating from time to time, however your fully assembled mock is then very stable, probably even more than with LEGO parts themselves. This mock is, was designed using LEGO parts, and with the provided parts, some steps are really difficult. I already spoke to the manufacturer and provided my building feedback and they're improving the parts to have a better tolerance. Alright, let's start building. Unfortunately, I can only show you some parts of the building process. If you would like to have a closer look at the instructions, you can buy them separately on Rebrickable. You start building the chassis and then quickly the L motors are added. Another frame secures those motors. For some axles, I had a really hard time pushing them in. I used this H beam to create enough force. With LEGO parts, this should not be a problem. The next motor is floating for some steps, but will later be secured with some frames. I can highly recommend adding the motor for the spinner later. With the provided feedback, the instructions will be constantly improved. If you have bought the instructions, you will have access to all future developments of this bot as well. This robot used to have a sticker which you can purchase separately. However, Less DIY doesn't provide this, this sticker. Instead, you get panels in green which looks very similar to the sticker background. Attaching the upper design of the spinner works quite well. For the bottom part, you have to do it as shown in the video. And in the end, you need to bend everything a bit to get it working. Uh, then the spinner is ready to be attached to the main assembly. Alright, we are done. The set from Less DIY comes with a physical remote, but in my opinion, this robot is really hard to operate with that. You could also use an app by Mold King, but still, it is difficult to operate a robot that way. The third option is to use a gamepad, like a PS4 controller or an Xbox One controller, uh, with the Brick Controller 2 app. You can find a detailed video how to set this up. Uh, in the Technicalities by KK YouTube channel, I have linked that video for you. And now let's get ready to rumble!
is this set for? If you would like to start uh, robot fighting, this is a very good starting point. You get a, a very d decent battle bot which has won some fights. What I do not like is the quality of the bricks. At uh, some places, LEGO would have offered an, a better quality. Also, some steps in the instruction did not show quite well where the part should be attached, but this is going to be improved. What I really like about this set is that you get a battery box that is rechargeable via USB cable. Thank you for watching, and if you liked me being the guest voice of this video, give it a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Klembau channel and check out my own YouTube channel Technicality by KK, which is linked in the description.